Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm David. Um, and I'm also uh, like John and Gabriel from uh, Web Development Immersive course at General Assembly. So, I don't know, today's talk is brought to you by General Assembly or something. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, today I'll talk about uh, implementation of um, uh, visual, uh, data visualization using LTA's uh, API. Um, so this is how it looks like. I'm running locally. Um, yeah, so basically it shows you um, basically how many lots there are. So if it's less than 50, it shows rate. So if you're ever like driving around town, you know, you're like, oh man, usually Cathay is always full. You want to be sure. You just log on to, uh, oh, so this is the live site, carparks.sg, carparks-sg Heroku. You can see it. So yeah, before I dive in straight, uh, just maybe one, get a sense from you guys. Um, okay, hold on. Let me just, what is this? Okay, full screen mode. All right, let's do this. So, okay, the URL is over there. So bit.ly, um, 2ARD8FO. If you can't see from the back, you can get that. Um, just get a sense from you guys. Uh, how many have played with like LTA data mall API before, hands up? Okay, so, okay, a few, very good. Uh, how many have um, set up like a Express server, uh, server using Express before? Okay, also. You. Um, and how many of you have used uh, leaflet.js before for map visualizations? Okay, very cool. So I think the talk will be kind of useful for different people at different times. So I'm going to talk about all these three. Yeah. So just very quickly about me. Uh, okay, GA student. I used to be a trade policy analyst, which means I have a really boring job. So that's why I switched uh, to GA. And a policy science graduate. And some of the projects I've done before this is a kind of snake game. Uh, like 3310, there's a little Star Wars icon there. Yeah, and um, yeah, some kind of web design stuff. So okay, today uh, in four steps, uh, we will just quickly go through how we can consume um, LTA data mouse API and uh, how we can serve that on the front end using Leaflet. And also, so LTA data mouse is really awesome uh, documentation. The website is crap. like. I don't know, it's from like 1995 or something, but it's great documentation, all the instructions on you know, how to get your keys and stuff like that are all there. So just look beneath that and you'll get uh, data on you know, taxi availability, car park, ERP rates, and all the cool, stu cool stuff. So, um, and so I chose car park availability because uh, I think everybody's done cool projects on LTA data more before. Like, I think there was a taxi heat map that went viral, there's the bus stops stuff. So I was like, man, it's nothing left for me <laughs> except uh, car park data. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, how many of you guys have used like Postman or similar stuff for making like quick Ajax API requests? Okay, so I won't go through that since you guys kind of know. So it's a quick dirty way of uh, kind of, um, you know, if you just put in the um, API endpoint and your account key, don't remember this, you know, you can easily get um, kind of get a sense of what data you're getting. So this, you know, your longitude, latitude, uh, shopping mall name, number of lots. And yeah, and in the data mall website, they have uh, other endpoints. So this one is traffic accidents. It's quite cool as well. So you can see like, you know, things popping up like, oh, like five minutes ago, there was an accident on PIE or something like that, you know? So, uh, gives you the details and the longitude, latitude, which is very nifty for uh, using that in Leaflet. Am I going too fast? It's okay? All right. Okay, so why? Why do we need to set up a server express? Why not just, you know, make an Ajax request uh, on the front end and get the map? Uh, get the, sorry, the uh, data. Because, because of uh, um, this thing called cross-origin resource sharing, or rather, you know, uh, same origin policy, basically, um, when you are making an API request or Ajax request from file slash slash to HTTP, they will uh, the browser won't allow you to do that. Or if you're taking fr calling from, I don't know, um, H yeah, no, all these cross origin uh, requests are not supported. So we have to set up a quick uh, a server um, on HTTPS and on localhost, and then that will communicate with the LTA data the LTA API, and then 
I host it as my uh, API server. Oh, how sh oh man, I'm, sh uh, I'm tripping on my own words, but let me just let the app do the talking. So basically, I uh, make the call, host it here, and my front end calls my back end uh, local 3000 slash API. OK. OK, so if you ever get this like, you know, message, just you know, set up a server on Express it's really fast. OK. So this little bit of uh, code here is what uh, kind of uh, gets around that problem of uh, cross-origin requests. Yep. And so this is where we make the API call. The keys store env environment variables. And all this on GitHub, so you can like, uh, slowly look through it or chat with me after this. And then we send it to the front end, where I just make an AJAX request um, to my slash API, and you know, uh, visualize it using Leaflet. OK. And then uh, Leaflet uh, was a bit intimidating at first. After I read uh, the Taxi Heatmap uh, article that I went through, his uh, repo, and I was like, oh man, where do you start? Everything's confusing, but after going through it, it's actually just two steps. You load a base map, and you, know, you put the markers on it. So actually, I um, heard a guy at PyCon last month explaining you know, what the base map is, so it's pretty cool. So like, you load Google Maps, right? You, know, you can click and drag and everything, but it's actually just uh, 16 uh, Im images, 16 squares, 256 by 256. So you know, the moment you zoom in and your browser tracks like, where your longitude and latitude is, and it serves different um, degree of uh, resolution to you based on how much you zoom in. So you realize you can't always zoom you know, like a, at an infinite gradient, right? It's always like steps. So this is kind of why that is so. So using Leaflet, if any of you guys are interested, um, this, your HTML, this is all of Leaflet's awesomeness. We'll just append itself here. And all we need to do is to choose a base map. And Mapbox has really cool um, uh, base maps you can play around with. So I'll just quickly do a short demo. So right now, um, it's kind of a practical map. You know, it shows you know, uh, your street name, shopping mall names, and stuff like that. But um, there, is, there is kind of a market website with like, um, base maps they can play around with. So if I was to just change uh, this tile layer, to this kind of fancy looking tile layer. I kind of like it. It doesn't tell much about the ge geography, but it looks kind of cool, right? <laughs> so I, I saw it on Channel News Asia the other day. I was like, hey, man, I know where you got this from. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of cool if anybody has like art projects or you know, some kind of creative design stuff. This would be really awesome. And the link to this is on my uh, presentation, so you guys have access to that. So yeah, basically, you are just loading a different uh, base map. And this is where you kind of choose your base map. And you can set your um, where you want the map to center. Singapore is one north, right? So one point something, that's our, I don't know, one of longitude or latitude, yeah. And then, um, yeah, there's the, you just need to get an API key from Macbox. Yep. And um, so you load the base map. And next thing you want to do is to um, visualize the data that, um, that LTA gives us, right? So it's very kindly give us longitude and latitude data so we don't have to do any kind of geocoding or anything like that. So that's nifty. And here there are two things happening. We sort, sort the data, and then uh, basically, this L leaflet, uh, L dot circle, you just pass it the longitude and latitude return from the AJAX request, and that gives you one circle, and then we um, append it to the map, and we also bind a pop up message saying how many lots there are left. The way I define message was just uh, data, shopping mall name, and then numbers, number of lots left. So I've been told I have like half a minute left. So yeah, you basically just learn how to build a simple map app with LTSD API. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. 
Why not Google Maps? Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really explore uh, Google Maps API, but uh, I know Leaflet gave me kind of uh, markers and you know things I can append. Yeah, it's kind of a nice documentation. And also, I think Google Maps, if I call, um, let's say if I want to reverse geocode, right, Amokia Avenue 3 to longitude latitude, uh, it gives me 2,500 2, requests a day. So it means I refresh my page like 50 times, and that's my time. I've got to like, start charging my card. So that's why I use my box, yeah, and leaflet. Any other questions? Caching, yeah, I don't uh, uh, persist any data. So it's kind of uh, just calling the save server every time it refreshes. Um, well, the good thing about the data, uh, the API is that server uptime is like terrific. It's awesome. Like it, it never went down it in the whole like tr you know three weeks I was working on this. <laughs> Sorry. They have rate, rate um, I, I don't remember from the documentation, but um, I make my requests once per minute. And I think for other APIs on data.gov, they have uh, limits like max 50 or something, but not for uh, LTA data more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the documentation, I have the link in my slides, so you can look it up. Hey, it's LTA, so if you go too fast, the traffic officer will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you.